guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a Pretty Little Thing try on haul. Now I picked this up about a week ago and it was one of those like late night shopping and I actually haven't shopped on the website for a long time. The last time I shopped on there I got all the sizes wrong and I returned everything. And the thing I like about Pretty Little Thing is it's super affordable. They constantly have a 50% off code on their website. Make sure you find the discount code before you shop on there because you should never pay full price on Pretty Little Thing. So I like going to Pretty Little Thing where I'm looking for like very trend driven items. And also like if you want to be the insta hole, that's the place to go. Okay, oh my god that rhymed. But anyway, I picked up a few things so let's go ahead and try it on. So this is the first time I'm actually filming in my bedroom because there's a mirror here so I can see what's happening. So if you guys watch my videos, you already know that 90% of the time I dress like this. So very like cash, very comfy and like kind of like a boy. A lot of my clothes are menswear. But sometimes I feel like dressing, you know, a little bit more sexy is that the right word <laughs> feels so weird saying that but you know sometimes i feel like showing a little bit of skin you know having the insta whole look so today is the day so i got my back full of stuff here i actually opened it up a little bit just to have a peek first up is this stone pocket detail cargo pants in a size 8 because i'm looking for some new pants i need to stop wearing the same two pants in all my videos and then to go with that i bought a what is this Okay. Ah, oh, okay. This is the off-the-shoulder sweatshirt that I got. It looks really big. It's a... Uh, this is a size small. I think most of the time the models are either wearing a size 6 or an 8. And the way I think about it is that I'm like, okay, if they're wearing a size 8 and they're that snatched, like... I'm shaped like a potato. Like, how can I be the same size? But anyway, we'll see. So this is a small. And then the pants, I got them in a size 8. It's just like an elasticated waistband and I mean I didn't pay that much for it so I don't really have a lot of high expectations but it looks a little bit cheap <laughs> but you never know and I'm going to try both of them on okay what do we think? I think I like it. I like anything that's off shoulder. I think it looks really flattering on me. But at the same time, like the fabric of this is a little bit... What's happening at the back here? What is going on? The front does look really cute. I can see how this would be really cute in a photo. The fabric is not the best. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's more like a fleece material. I don't know how what will happen if you wash it. But again, this was pretty cheap, so I'm not going to complain too much. And another thing was when I saw a photo of this on the website, on the model it was actually like loose around here so you know I thought that was gonna be the case but you know somebody been having too many milk teas that's why it's pretty big I feel like if you're any smaller skinnier than me this might be too big this is a size small I believe this is actually the smallest size so if you're any tinier than me it probably will sort of slip down a lot so just keep that in mind but it is cute it comes in a lot of colors I think there's gray a white a black and red. With the pants, I am a little bit unsure. I feel like the waistband here, I just don't really like the elasticated waistband look because you can't really wear a belt with it. It would have looked pretty cool. Wait, let me grab a belt. Would it have looked cool with a belt? That was like my vision to wear it with a belt. I think it's a little bit weird if I wear a belt with no belt loops. It fits okay, this is a size 8, it fits me alright, the length is good. I paired it with this pair of Fear of God military boots and I really like it. The colour goes really well and I tucked it in so I think that's a look. Because I've been trying to find pants where I can wear these boots with. Alright, let's try on the next thing. Yeah, I've got like a top that I'm really excited for. Oh, it is this one here. It is called the Blanche. Blanche? <laughs> Blanche or Blanche black tie front long sleeve crop blouse in a size 8 again. And the reason why I got this was because I think they had something similar on House of CB. But you know, House of CB is a little bit more expensive and I don't really wear things like that that often so I wasn't about to spend a lot of money so <laughs> I'm a little bit cheap. So anyway, let's try this on. This looks not bad. The material is actually alright. I expected it to be sort of like a silkier material but I actually don't mind this cotton vibe going on. Okay, this is actually really sexy. 
I know you guys probably haven't seen me wear stuff like that, but you know. The neckline is really cute, and the fact that there's a tie over here, you can still wear a regular bra. You don't have to wear those stick-on chicken fillets. And the fact that it's cut like that as well, it's not like overly exposed. The only thing is, I don't know whether I just have really fat arms or something, but this is a size 8. It feels tight on my arms. I expected it to be a little bit more of a loose fit, but it's very... Tight. I don't know whether it looks too tight on me that it looks silly. There's a little bit of a stretch in this material. Wow, I like this look. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know if I should go a size up because it is a little bit tight on my arms. Or maybe I should just stop drinking all my milk tea. <laughs> Next up, we have, what is this? Oh, it's a black skirt. So this is a distressed mini skirt and again I got it in a size 8. Oh, I don't know. It looks <laughs> it looks a little bit small, so hopefully it will fit. Again, I don't have much expectations when I pay that little for clothing. So it is a thin denim, but it doesn't look too bad. Okay, I'm gonna try this on and see if it's a look. This skirt is you know, I guess it's denim, so it will stretch a little bit over time. It's a little bit small for me. It does fit. How does the peach look? Is it snatched? Not really. I do like the detailing here. Like I think it's, you know, a little bit sexy. Mm. I have to say though, it is very short. So I'm wearing this on my waist and it feels very, very short. So just keep that in mind. I feel like this is something I would actually wear. So I have a dress over here and this is the off the shoulder red rouge knitted dress. I got a size 6. Okay. The models were wearing this in a size 6 so I assumed that would be my size because they look loose on them and they were doing like this like walking video. I literally could not decide which color I wanted because they had this in like a baby blue, a black, white, gray and a red and I actually wanted the baby blue and then it sold out because I took so long to decide. So I ended up getting this red. I don't know if I'm... Ooh. I hope this is really stretchy because it looks a little bit small. I don't know guys. I don't know. <laughs> this was totally not what I envisioned it to be. Like first of all, what is... Why are the sleeves so... Oh, okay, wait, wait, wait. I think... Hold on, hold on. I think what you're meant to do is you're meant to sort of scrunch it around your upper arm. And that's how it stays so, up. Okay, okay, I figured out the sleeves. I thought I was into the red, but then now that I have it on, I'm not into the red. Also because, you know, on the models, this looks so good and so snatch on them. But obviously it's because they had a really snatch waist and I am shaped like a potato. So this is not really happening for me because of the ruching though it is very comfortable and if you have like a food baby you will completely hide it which is good news but then i feel like this is not very flattering on me and also it is a very very short i don't know if you guys can tell oh shit it is a um, very short it's the peach looking snatch oh it actually is wow <laughs> i can't believe i'm like actually admiring my own bum but like wow i feel like it's because they pose like this way is this a pose if you were to take a photo, does the peach look more snatched than it is? <laughs> and the front section as well, there's a ruching detailing right <laughs> in between your legs. And I don't think you can actually ruch it up any further because it is very close, very close to this crotch region. And yeah. Plus, I'm not very tall, so I would imagine if you're like a taller person and you wore this, this would be like short. I can't decide if I like this. I think if I wore like some sort of Spanx in there, if my waist was like this snatch, it would definitely be a look. Last but not least, I have these ribbed jogger. So stone ribbed jogger in a size 8. And first impression wise, it's a very pajama looking kind of thing. It's very soft. It feels very comfortable. But again, it is very thin. I think, can, can you guys tell from here? that it is pretty thin and it looks pretty big so it's not what I expected. I think on the model, was it meant to be like a tight fitting thing? I got this color as well thinking it would snatch the peach. Well, it is a uh, very loose and please don't mind my granny panties because there's definitely a clear VPL happening here. I wonder if I should have sized down for this. I guess if you're wearing this as like an airport outfit, it might be alright. Personally, I would not wear this. I was like, this is way too pajama vibe for me. The length is actually not too bad, but 
I am not feeling this pants. This definitely feels like I'm just gonna stay home by myself when I'm editing and wearing this pants. Not something I will wear out, damn it. I had a vision. I had a vision for this pants. It's not giving me the snatchness that I was looking for. So right now I can't decide like what I want to keep and what I want to return because when you think about it, I think you have to pay... Oh. Let me see. So the e-parcel return service costs $8.95. So you had to pay $8.95, so $9 to send the items back. But I'm pretty sure these pants were so cheap. So it doesn't really make sense if I pay $8.95 to send these back. I could just wear this at home. I don't know, I'll decide later. What else did I get? Oh, I want to show you guys some accessories as well. So I bought these layered necklaces. Oh my god, it's stuck. I think it's really cute. Look at it. So it's like a diamond tea and it's gold and there's like stars and moons. This necklace is actually so cute and yeah, so you have to wear it something with like a low v-neck so you can kind of see it against your skin. This is such a cute necklace. Look at it. Mmm. I'll link everything in the description bar below so you guys can check it out but I am really, really liking this necklace. Got another layered necklace and this is a silver one. I think it is so cute. So it has like just a round detailing this like half moon horn looking thing and this silver bit but I really got it because they didn't really have many silver layered necklaces and I really wanted a silver one because my hair is like more of a cool tone it will go better with my hair I'm actually surprised at the quality of the jewelry I thought it would feel a lot cheaper but it actually is pretty nice so that's what the necklace looks like on can this bra just just go away <laughs> okay so that's what this necklace looks like on. I think it's super flattering. It looks really good, especially if you have something that's like off the shoulder or like a low v-neck. It really looks very... I look so fashionable. I feel like it really adds to it. I haven't worn jewelry in a long time and I feel like this is definitely a look and I will be wearing this a lot. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because I post every Wednesdays and Sundays and I'm hoping to do another try on haul because this was so fun. I might shop on Misguided next. Let me know in the comments below if there's any other store that you guys want me to check out and I will do that for you guys. But anyway, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys really, really soon. Bye!